I think this is a very interesting comment. I, I want to know everyone's take on this. I got a comment from a video I made called My Heritage. Do African Americans only show two thirds to three quarters African DNA in their DNA test results? Something like that. Adamus Stenberg, I want to share this comment that he left. I want to unpack this. I want to understand this better. Here we go. Quote, I'm black American from the South. My results were 60% West African, 39% uh, European, most likely France because my last name is French, and 1% Native American. Both my parents are very dark skinned, black folks, but all six of their children are different colors ranging from yellow with sandy blonde hair to very dark skinned, the whole spectrum. Every African American knows this is common against families, but a lot of white folks assume I'm biracial. There are no white people in my family on either side as far as I know. So that means my female African American ancestors were raped by my male European ancestors hundreds of years ago. This is why I identify as solely black. Hard to have pride in rape blood." End quote. Now I know this is a bit of a dark subject to talk about. This is, it makes us feel a little bit uncomfortable, doesn't it? But not for me. I'm up for the challenge. I want to understand this better. And I, and, and I have compassion for our friend Adam is here. I do. I, I, Cause I mean, I know to some degree, all of us like are gonna have ancestors that where there was rape involved. I made a video about it myself talking about my last name would be Stallion. Uh, there was a, a male ancestor who, who raped a, a teenage girl. Well, th her parents ended, or her dad ended up killing the man, but she became pregnant uh, from being raped and had that been a legitimate relationship, they would have married, my last name would be Stallion, but it's not. Uh, and, and that's one of the instances of rape in my family ancestry. I've made videos about it. So, but I can imagine though, as a, as a culture, as African American culture in particular, I can imagine that this is not the only person who feels this way. So I, I wanna focus on that one, one uh, phrase there. Quote, hard to have pride in rape blood. End quote. So again, um, I've got, we, uh, we could call rape blood in both sides of my family um, because also my, uh, when my grand, I guess it would be my great, great grandmother was also, she was abducted as a teenager in Mexico, snatched up and basically forced to be married to this guy. And that's, so I want to understand this. Is this a general feeling that African American people feel that, that they feel they can never really be proud of who they are because there's rape blood. Tell me more about this. I want to know about it. Thanks for helping me out.